I have never bought a base sight unseen. So this is gonna be the first base I've ever bought online. Let's check it out. Ooh, two bags of candy for the wife. They packed it pretty good in there. First unboxing, not very smooth. I wanted to get a four string bass and I really like Music Man basses, but I couldn't justify spending $2,500, $3,000. So I went with the Sterling Ray 4 HH. I found the one I liked, but they were out of stock. So I emailed my sales rep, Sean, at Sweetwater to see how long it would be before new ones came in. And he actually said that they were getting some blems in, blemished ones, um, that they weren't even posted online yet and get an incredible price. I think I got this one for around $349. So I'm like, sure, go ahead and ship it, you know, and uh, just saving a few dollars. So let's see what this thing looks like. When I bought my Lakeland bass, I played every single Lakeland in the store. And I ended up with the one that I got because I liked the neck. So that's why I've always thought that, you, you know, to buy a bass, you need to play it first. So we're gonna find out with, good night. Hey, get this thing out of here. Jeez. I don't want to hit the ceiling fan. They packed this in pretty good. I already like the feel of the neck. It feels like a jazz neck. Look at this thing. Oh goodness. Oh, my dog's down there. <laughs> I'm already liking this neck, this satin neck on this thing. Candy apple red. You know, I never liked unboxing videos because I thought it was kind of odd, but now that I'm doing it, I think it's pretty cool. I'm getting the first look. We're both looking at this together for the first time. Wow. First inspection, final inspection. So I like about Sweetwater, they're pretty thorough about things. So here it is, man. I don't know if the video is catching it, but the color on this thing is really nice. Oh, it's a deep red and candy apple red. And, <laughs> and this is a blem. Might have to put my glasses on because I can't see any blemishes on it whatsoever yet. Oh, there's a little teeny nick right there. I'm curious what kind of battery they use because I like the the Duracell. Oh yeah, <laughs> just a cheapo high watt. So um, yeah, got the five-way selector switch, got volume, tone with the center detent. It feels nice. And I like a Music Man, the uh, truss rod adjustment right here. You don't tear the pit guard up going in this way or going down in this way. Um, it's really nice. Oh gosh, I hate that. Sorry, pet peeve. Can't stand plastic on the, when they leave the, pla when the plastic's on. So let's take these off of the, the humbuckers, which they're ceramic humbuckers, so I'm curious how they're gonna sound compared. And what I'm gonna do later is do an actual, um, test on this thing and doing a video with it plugged in. So I tell you what, I'm gonna have to put my glasses on to see if I see anything because I don't see any kind of blem on this at all. And that, man, that color is so deep. I mean, I'm looking, just the neck teeny bit right here. Neck joint looks pretty solid. There's a little, I don't know if it's from polishing the frets. <laughs> I don't really snap either. Now it's gonna be different <laughs> going from the five string, four string. The neck feels nice. The action's not that bad, but I'm probably gonna try to lower it. I've actually taken a break from playing and I haven't played except for once or twice I picked my bass up in the last few months. I'm so rusty, but just this neck feels really, really good. Like I said, it feels like a jazz. I was afraid the spacing was gonna be a little bit too close, but 
actually feels pretty good. So I can't wait to plug it in and see what it sounds like. Buying a bass online without seeing a bass is the first time I've done that. I've always gone in and played and, and just like checked every bass out. So this is the first bass I bought without playing it before. The thing is, a couple things to think about if you're gonna do that is I wouldn't buy a used bass sight unseen um, like off of Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, whatever. Uh, but I got this from Sweetwater and a big thing about it is, you know, buying from a reputable store. So Sweetwater, that's where I've been buying all my stuff from. So I trust them and knowing their return policy that they've got a great return policy. If for some reason I didn't like this base, I know I'd have no issues returning it. Those are the two big things I would look for in buying something online, sight unseen, especially a guitar, because of how particular it is of, of your, will it fit your playing style, and, and is it gonna be comfortable for you? Is a store that's reputable, and what's their return policy? So there really was no risk. If I didn't like it, I would just return it. But already I'm really liking this bass and I can't wait to get into the uh, music room and plug it in and hear what it sounds like. Was this worth the risk? Yes. It almost has a sparkle to it. I hope you got something out of it. If you did, go ahead and hit the like button, um, subscribe, and we'll be making some more videos for you.